just a, another brick in the wall. All in all, you're just a, another brick in the wall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Please hit like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it when people do that and it helps me, it helps more people find the channel and stuff. Um, and please do that if you like it. And you know what, if you don't like it, still hit like anyway, all right? If you don't enjoy it, let's put it that way. The like button is confused language. Okay, so someone had requested some Pink Floyd stuff and um, I couldn't I couldn't figure out the one that was like, it was something about pigs. I can't remember, I, can't, I don't know Pink Floyd super well. I do like him a little bit, but I don't know him super well. So. Um, but they just said, or like anything Pink Floyd, I thought. So, um, so I picked one that I've known since I was a kid and I've always liked it. So I thought I would do this one for you guys. Um, so this was half requested, I guess. Um, some kind of Pink Floyd was requ requested. So the song has four chords, okay? So I'm going to show you, they're, they're not in this order, so I'm going to show you what they are. Uh, first though, you're going to do D minor. So, so if you don't know D minor, you're going to put your middle finger. Okay, this is how I do it anyway. And this is not the exact way to play this song. This is like an easy way to play like the under guitar and to sing it at the same time, like the rhythm guitar, okay? So you're gonna do, middle finger goes on the second fret on the G string, and then your ring finger, all right, you can see that your ring finger then goes on the third fret on the B string, and your pointer finger goes on the first fret on the little E string. And then I'm muting the big E string with my thumb. Okay. So that's how you play like like 80% of the song is just that D minor chord. You're also going to do G. I would do this G because you switch from that D minor and it's just easy because you can just leave your ring finger on and go to G. Okay, you're also gonna play F. Okay, and C. And then you go to D minor. In that part, okay. So the way that the song starts is, uh, and I'm, this is just part two of the song, okay. So the way the song starts is you're just gonna do D minor, and you're gonna do this for almost the whole verse. So you just do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And see, I'm doing like a delayed. I'm using my finger. You don't have to. You can use a pick. So we'll use a pick. But you're just gonna do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. So I'm doing a long down, down, up, just like that. So you're just gonna do it a little bit, just like a couple times before you go into the lyrics. We don't need no education. And you're gonna stay with this chord. We don't need no thought control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. So you're just staying on this D minor and then a little bit you're gonna switch to G. Teacher leave them kids alone. And then you can switch to G right after that. Okay, you're gonna stay on G. And you're gonna do this a few times. I would listen to it and play it with it when you do it. Hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. And then when you go to kids alone, you're gonna go to D minor. Okay, now there is more of like a lead guitar with it. It's like. Okay, but I'm not gonna show you that right now because you can kind of just mess with it if you want. You're just gonna, I'm just kind of pulling off and muting like. But you don't have to do that. I'm just showing you how to play this by yourself with the, with the, um, the rhythm guitar, okay? So then when you, so when, when, you do, when I do that riff, you can actually just keep playing D minor. And then you're gonna go into F when you right before all. All in all, it's just a. And right after uh, you're gonna play C. Another brick in the wall. And then while you do D minor, wall. And then you do it again. All in all, you're just a C. Another brick in the wall. Wall is D minor. And then you just, the lyrics are actually almost exactly the same for the second verse as they are for the first one. So now you know how to play the entire song. That's like the whole thing. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's other songs you want to learn and stuff. So thanks for watching. 
Um, I, I really do appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys have been here since the beginning or a lot of you guys are new, whatever. I just appreciate you all watching and uh, commenting with positive comments and stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. It's been fun and I'll see you next time.